We're back. We're back. Where are we at, Mark? Man, we somewhere in Texas. Unbelievable. Let me turn, let me adjust this. Just wow. No, I can't adjust it that way. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on a minute. Right, here we go. We are back. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are at uh, the world renowned, world famous Big Fish Factory of the Universe. Lake Fork, welcome to it, stage two. Um, a lot better than stage one, I can already tell you right now because there's some boys catching them. So this is our day off. Uh, we have just got done with two days of practice and uh, had a decent practice. I'm thinking that it's gonna take some weight this week. Um, so today's our day off and guess who's leading? Guess who's fishing today, J-Dub. So I don't know how they, wrangled us into this jacob's fishing alone well he's not alone he's with 39 other guys but they're they're getting their heads caved in <laughs> they're getting their heads caved in so. we are done rigging rods it took me long enough so the rods rig i got all the favorites rigged up i actually got them lined up right here look at this man they look good so but yeah we're ready to go we're fishing tomorrow give you all a weather forecast update um it's gonna blow a little bit more tomorrow it's slick calm this is perfect conditions today my goodness warm so uh i would have loved to get out there today and fish but you know we're in group b you always want to be in group a sometimes you want to be in group b this time group b so uh but yeah looking forward to the derb we're gonna wait till j-dub gets back probably eat some crawfish tonight maybe Crawfish round number two, and then uh, get after the Mars. Mm -hmm. I, I put it on my, I got to have an aluminum boat out there, you know. Yeah. Can I put it on that boat, too? I catch it in birds. It's yeah. unbelievable. All right, here we are, Lake Fork, day one. Um, they catching some big ones, like large ones. So, uh, you know, my plan this this whole tournament is just do what I really love doing. I'm gonna throw a jerk bait a pretty good bit. We're gonna move around some. Uh, the only factor today we're gonna have to kind of play into is the wind. Um, you know, it's supposed to be up a little bit more today, 10 to 20. So it's all, this is perfect right now. If it stay like this all day, we'll be okay. So I don't think it's gonna be fast and furious, but you know, if you get a bite an hour, you know, maybe have a little flurry here and there, it's looking good. So. I was playing all day. Hooked up a while ago. That was a daggum big and I had another one. 
that should have bit it. But she was sitting there all over it. She never even ate it. And I was like, are you kidding me? Tough, I can tell you that. It's tough, boys, on me. This wind is not my friend. <sighs> We're gonna come back. We got two and a half more hours. If I catch like seven or eight more fish in here, I mean they're in here. You catch like seven more. Pop, 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 pop. Catch two big ones. Run way up. Now is in 21st place, 12 pounds of one ounce. 12 ounces of elimination line. Dang, 20 pounds of 10th place. Eight pounds of what? Two, two bites. Weights ain't really great. No, it's just up at the top. Damn, Mark got two for six. Unbelievable. Can't give them a bite. I literally have thrown on like 10 of them. No, like 20 of them. They ain't reacting to it. They ain't want nothing to do with it. They're just like, forget you. Four, three, two, one. Nine, ten. Three, three, three.
here we are. Oh. So that was uh, day one. This is my off day, okay? So we are like five pounds out of the cut. That ain't nothing on Lake Fork. I had a few missed opportunities. Had some fish hooked up that did not stay pegged. So today's our day off. Look who I got in the boat today. That's old Bob. No, does anybody call you Bob? No. Well, no, Zaldane calls me Bob. You and Zaldane uh, call me so Bob. So like Rob, so, so, I know a guy named Rob, I call him Bob. So Rob is, you know, Bob is short for Rob. <laughs> so I'm like one of the only people that call him Bob. I don't even know if he likes it or not. He's probably it. like, don't call me Bob. No, it's fine. Hang on a minute, got a little rain. Just, uh, All right, we're out here. We're gonna go out here and see if we can get a bite, catch a big one. We're on a little local lake, so. Y'all stay tuned. Maybe I can keep one hooked up. Look at this guy. Give me, give me a little something. Give me a little ding. Uh, ah! <laughs> All right, so I just got back. We went and fished with Rob at uh, Quitman. I tell you, Quitman got him. Got you? Caught one one pounder in four hours. That place was horrible. I talked to like two other people. They was like, man, we ain't had a bite. I said, mm. And I broke my troll motor shaft. Good job. Yep. You replaced? Yeah, it was great. Last five minutes, I uh, I hit a stump. Broke my shaft. Give me some. What a day. Hey. What a life. Yeah. It's a whole nother thing. We got rig rods, a couple the... rods, what, what, we'll what be done. Alright guys, here we are, day two on Lake Fork. We are five pounds out of the cut. That is one bass. So, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna need as much weight as I can catch. Wind's gonna be a factor today, so we're gonna have to battle it. It's something you gotta deal with. I still think I can catch them in this wind. It's supposed to shift out of the west a little bit, and then it's gonna be out of the north. So we're about to move around. I'm not gonna fully, fully commit to throwing my dirt bait. I mean, that's what I really love doing, but conditions, you got a fishing condition, it's nailed to mine, so. Take it. Hey, up, baby. Boo! Hey, I'll 
take it, son. He didn't want to eat it, but I got him. <laughs> I'll take it. He didn't want to eat it, but I got him. He's sitting there looking at it the whole time. I was like, all right. Keep on looking at it. Maybe it's, maybe it's gonna be a good day. Seven pounds, two ounces. I got squabbing. Seven, two. We're back in the cut. Seven, two. <laughs> Thank you, man. Seven, two. Thank you, Lord. Joe. I'll take it. The good thing is we're around fish. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of them in here too. Same one that was coming up on my stuff a while ago. Three pounds, twelve ounces. Three twelve. Three twelve. Boom! Come on, baby. I had a couple missed opportunities, but what's Adrian got? All right, so I can just I'll, I'll look at it. Look at Thinking, uh, I mean, I, I know this wind's about to start chopping this way, so it won't be long. We might have to get pushed out of here. We have to go somewhere else. I want to stay as long as I can. At least that bank over there where I caught a few is kind of shielded. It's straight freaking north right now. <coughs> All right, guys, good first period. Got to keep it rolling. Well, let's get rained on one time. Yeah, I will rain. Blow 30. 
Unreal. Three, two, one. Lines in. Dang it, he ain't gonna keep it. Yeah. Cold. Mm. I don't really want to sit in here all day, but I just need one bite, you know. I don't want to keep. I don't want to run around out there in that damn wind and waves and all that. Waste time. Fish are here, you know. They're here. Three, two, one. Lines in. Give three, three. Boom! Baby, let's freaking go. Five pounds, four ounces. Five, four. Five, four. Boom. There she is. Boom. Two, four. Let's freaking go. I wasn't even recording back here. 
All the fish landed. I don't even think I got any of them. It's all good. Sorry guys, I didn't have my back camera on. I cut it. You know what I did? I cut it off when I used the bathroom this morning. Didn't cut it back on. So all my fish landed. Ah! <laughs> it's 334. I had to use the restroom and I cut off the, the GoPro like a dummy and didn't even put it back on. So y'all didn't get to see any of the fish catches of me landing them in the back of the boat. Good job. rigging rods that's gonna wrap up day one and day two video oh my gosh it's, it was an epic grind holy crap and it's cold god dang man you talking about a grind for me you know it, i thought during my practice that i'd really found you know i i, I wasn't really dialed just because the wind kind of restricted me to get dialed in I tried to run certain areas and it just didn't happen. Um, I'd see the fish, they wouldn't bite. I really couldn't get in a good little groove. I was mostly just fishing like an isolated point. You know what I mean? But as the week has progressed, I feel like they're starting to move off of the points and turn the corner. There's a lot of them turning the corner. And what I mean by that is they're not on the points as much now. They're right around the edge of them they're starting to slide in and uh i don't know this same exact deal happened uh at eufaula it got warm the water tent was warm everything was right the fish had not caught up yet and that's what's happening right now the, those fish that were on the points they're starting to make that transition in a little ways um they're 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 pocket related they're not really uh main lake for me they're not like hardcore main lake they're like right inside and uh that's what i was doing in practice and i figured that deal out in practice it's just the area i was in was like a forest there was trees everywhere later this afternoon i got on a little isolated deal i just rolled up near the boat ramp and just started panning and just looking and i seen them on some isolated stuff so I really like that isolated stuff a lot better than those forests like that I was in all day today. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Knockout round bound. We're gonna slide into the knockout round. We're gonna do another video. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. I did not have Brett here with me. It's been kind of a struggle this week. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Like and subscribe below. Sorry this video didn't have a lot of ex extra things. It's been kind of a grind this week, but uh, we got it done today. Appreciate it. Y'all be on the lookout next time. Knockout round, hopefully championship round. See ya.